What's up guys? We're back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am a manifestation coach. I offer one-on-one -on -one email or DM coaching if you would like me to help you get rid of whatever is between you and your manifestation. We also have a subscription Facebook group that comes with many benefits along with you being automatically entered in any challenge. And we have an Isn't It Wonderful challenge coming up soon and you are not gonna wanna miss it. It is going to be freaking fantastic. So join. All right, let's get into the video. How do we stop hot and cold behavior? Um, okay. We're using that title, but really the question that I was asked was how do I stop them from coming and then going? So I'm going to address two things. A lot of the time, the problem with people going and coming is one, they're like, oh, I know I can manifest them back. But the you having that assumption is literally creating the cycle and the circumstance of them having to leave so that you can manifest them back. And although it's great, you have that confidence, but you're literally pushing them away so that you can manifest them back. And that is not what we want. We want a happy, stable, long relationship. So another problem that I see is that you will get your SPs and then you'll worry that they're going to leave again because it's happened before. You guys have got to drop that old story. I don't care if he ghosted you 67 times before you learned how to manifest properly. Once you've learned how to properly choose your realities and how things go and how to properly choose the versions of yourselves and your SPs, you need to drop that story. It, it's over. That doesn't matter. It is irrelevant because, damn it, this time they gonna stay and we're good because I know who I am and what I deserve and they are going to treat me like I deserve to be treated. And I deserve consistency and loyalty and a long, happy relationship and that's what the fuck I'm gonna get. That's the mentality you need to have when you have manifested your SP back. You need to have the mentality of, of course, they came. Of course, they contacted me. Of course, we're together. Like, who wouldn't want to be with me? You're lucky I even want you. Of course, they want to stay with me. They wouldn't dare go anywhere because it's me. What's better than me? Nothing. You need to have that mentality, not, oh, they're back, but they've left before. Are they going to leave? No. No, they're not. Because they're not that version of them anymore. Because if you've manifested them back, then they are a new version. They are now the version of themselves that is loyal to you, that stays with you, wants to be with you forever, or until you decide you don't want them anymore, if you don't want to be with them forever. Whatever. It should be all on your terms. Everything about your relationship should be on your terms. So you don't have time to be sitting around worrying and giving these people free will. Stop giving them free will. Stop allowing them to come and go. Stop making them come and go. Because essentially, in the first scenario, that's what you're doing. You have such an assumption that you can always manifest them back but when you have that assumption, they have to leave you for you to manifest them back. Why keep going through that shit anymore? No, my SP is here to stay. We're good here. We're great. We enjoy each other 24-7. We do everything together. We are secure. We are great. We're great. That's the mentality you need to have. Stop creating unnecessary circumstances. That's where the hot and cold behavior comes from. It's not because they get to choose, unless you let them choose. 
it's because you're manifesting them to leave. You're either fearing that they're going to leave or you're just so confident in your ability to manifest them back that you force them to leave so that you can manifest them back and you're going through a cycle of unnecessary bullshit that you don't need to go through. Just be happy. Just be confident with your relationship. Understand that they are lucky to have you because you are the baddest bitch walking this earth or the baddest man walking this earth. And no, create the assumption that you guys are secure and long term and that is all you will accept it's that simple there doesn't have to be a cycle of hot and cold behavior there just doesn't so drop those old stories that's the best way to cut off a cycle drop that old story and create a new one and do not think from that old one stop thinking from the old story I don't care how many times they've ghosted you or did whatever they did. If you still want them back, then you're going to have to drop that old story. Otherwise, drop the whole damn man and get a new one. Okay? If you can't let go of the old story, if it's too damaging, if it's too traumatizing and you just cannot let it go, then let the person go. Because it's going to be a lot of work if you're not willing to just decide to drop it. You have to make the decision. There's no sense in going through all this back and forth bullshit when you could just be happy. I hope that came out clear and easy to understand for you guys. I hope it answered your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget that I offer one-on-one -on -one email and DM coaching. I would love to dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation and I would love to help you stop the hot and cold behavior. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and we out.